Back on with news just coming in from Karnataka, where the reservation for Kannadigas in jobs in Karnataka. This uh, entire bill, this entire decision has been now put on hold. The Karnataka government has uh, decided to put the decision on hold after some severe backlash, not just from political parties, experts, and uh, uh, but also from India Incorporated. Harish Upadhyay now joins us with more. Yes, Harish. Anand, after a severe backlash from the industry bodies and with uh, states like Andhra Pradesh aggressively trying to woo investors, seeing this as an opportunity, the state government has decided to put this entire draft on hold. And in the coming few weeks, you will see the state having once again a consultation process with all the stakeholders and uh, bring in a bill much later, uh, not definitely in the ongoing assembly session, because several within the government were uneasy with this entire draft, including uh, departments like the industries, IT and BT. We've seen ministers mm -hmm. like M.B. Patel and Priyank Karge from morning trying to assure the industry that this wouldn't hamper uh, their operation in Karnataka or their recruitment. And uh, the Labour Ministry was trying to defend this uh, decision. But finally, the Chief Minister has decided that it's best to go for consultation again, put this decision on hold, speak to everybody, uh, whether it's uh, various language groups here, Kannada, Rakshana Vidika and others, the industry mm. bodies and uh, several labour groups in Karnataka and then revise the entire draft. Uh, one of the other aspects is that the courts would have not taken kindly because uh, another move like this by the state of Haryana has not worked with the courts. So why was the Karnataka government uh, insistent on pushing this through? Why were there not broader consultations before the intent to table this bill? Well, uh, you had a, uh, at least a defence from the state government coming in that some of these aspects would be advisory in nature. The government, the state wouldn't go after companies who failed to act it, but the industry body wasn't comfortable with the fact that this was being mentioned in the draft and uh, nowhere was it mentioned that it would be advisory in nature. In fact, the legal advisor to the chief minister was very guarded uh, this morning when asked about this. He said, I have to go through the law. He also did mention that when it comes to companies and their rights to operate, uh, it is much stronger than what it would be for government organizations. And uh, that's the reason they will have to go through the bill once again. But finally, a uh, better sense prevailing in, uh, in the government and the chief minister now deciding to put this decision on hold. Well, thank you for your inputs, Harish. Let's go.